Hey y'all, this is the Great with another video. Walking home right quick. And I just want to share something with y'all right quick. Okay, y'all know the whole Cat Williams and Club Shay Shay interview. It went around the world and I, 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 over 50 million views. But I'm going to pick it back off that and talk about Brandon T. Jackson. Now, his interview is coming back up, talking about him putting on the dress for, um, <coughs> excuse me, Big Mama House 3. But my thing is, they were baby stepping you for that slowly but surely over time. Now, I don't know what happened in Lottery Ticket because he made mention about something that happened in Lottery Ticket with his character. I don't remember coming to see the movie one time. The first step for me was Roll Bounce with Delicious. You remember uh, the dude with the fro, nice body? I think they were Delicious. But you know, um, the guy who was the main big skater. And he um, hold out for real. He turned into a fangirl. Like, oh! His name was Sweetness. Boom. Sweetness. Okay. Second. The second thing I think that would really gave them the idea to come at him with this was Tropic Thunder. He was playing this dude that was lightweight in denial about being gay. But towards the end of the movie, uh, I think towards the end of the movie, he had 77 and came out with a drink called Booty Sweat and had a video go along with it. That right there was what did it. And why I say that? Because that was the closest thing you play in gay without you touching and kissing on a man and stuff like that. So, you said Cat Williams was saying to me you're not to put on the dress or anything like that, but you went ahead and did it. I don't care if it was Martin Lawrence. At the end of the day, as a person, it'd be like, eh, I ain't about to do that. Because now he want to talk about his religion and talk about he felt like he was cursed because in my religion... We uh, it don't it don't we don't do stuff like that, and it's so funny after it's like that like how dudes are in jail after you don't know, hit got um shut down and put down for a while now you found God and then want to sit here and be all extra religious when in fact nine times out of ten many niggas sit up here and have a religious upbringing to a degree you know so definitely you know what's right and what's wrong. Also, you also know that, huh, how would that look good for me if I was to put on this fat suit and be some girl in college? It's foolish. And, and you gotta also think, uh, Mr. Jackson, even though you're funny, you was not on the caliber of like a Martin Lawrence and stuff. We saw you on Comic View. We saw you, um, do, do the things with your little film features, but it's not like you was on everybody's tongue, if that makes sense. So, the reason why Martin all there can do that and still do they one two without being so called cursed is because one, they still do have talent and they talent a little bit more than yours. You're a funny dude, don't get me wrong, but they're epically funny. We quote them. And, quote them and everything like that. You did the dress thing too early in your career. But you let them, you didn't think about it, they slow walked you into that role and now that you did that and probably some other things too because you put on the dress but probably somebody came to you too about, you know, doing the bending and you wasn't with it and that will really actually got you blackballed. Not you putting on that outfit and stuff like that because at the end of the day Technically, you can make your own stuff, make your own YouTube page and do your one, two for real, for real, instead of sitting up here telling us about you being cursed and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, we don't care for real. I just wanted to make this video just to explain that because I had to think when I was seeing his video recirculating around. They're like, oh, hold up, bro. They will walk you into that straight up. They walk you to that. You can sit up here and, and speak on the script. Whether they, uh, whether they recast you or not. But in the day, if you want to sit here and stand up for yourself and you feel like, eh, eh they're kind of funny. But here go a lot of things where some of y'all niggas messed up. Y'all like to play these little games being sissified for using it as for comedy until they come to you with it with on some real stuff. Invite you to the parties, put on their dress, put on this, put on that. Too many people have done it. And y'all want to sit up here and try, and try to say, oh, it was funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. 
It just looking weird because at the end of the day, you are still funny as a man. You don't have to dress up as no woman for real. That's straight up. And I'd rather for y'all just to be real and just say, hey, I ain't got no problem with being dressed up. I know some people may not get with it, may not like it, but at the end of the day, this is what I want to do and this is what I want to um, present as part of my repertoire. But at the end of the day, the only thing you hear is, oh, because it's funny, because it's funny. No, baby, it's not funny. It make people look at you. Like, okay, you're going to put this on. What else are you going to do? So, and I will say this. Like I said, we only got a few of our black actors who have not shamed themselves in that way. And I don't, I ain't going to say, I ain't, well, there's a few, but the only one I can think of is Denzel Washington. The most we ever seen of Denzel was see his behind in that movie where he played the um, pilot and he um, when he flew that plane upside down, movie was cold. But that's the most we ever seen of Denzel. Just the piece of his ass. Other than that, you can see him kissing a white woman. You can see him be no sissy. Even though he played a bad cop and played the worst of the worst, he's still not going against his morals or going against who he is because he can still be an ally, but I'm not gonna sit here and play these roles because that's not who I am, you know? So a lot of these dudes that sit up here try to tell their story now why they didn't make it and stuff, some of y'all just ain't got the talent. And then some of y'all just didn't take the deal. And then some of y'all couldn't get back on your feet without the push in the industry. That's straight up. So all this hoopla, all this rah, 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 Take it with a grain of salt. Cat Williams opened up a can of worms and, everybody, and all the dogs are hollering. Straight up. So that's all I have to say. This I tell you is great. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And make this thing go around and around and around. All right. Enjoy y'all night. I'm going to go in this house and enjoy mine. All right. So long.